You know what happens when you play with fire, you end up peeing the bed. Mom's gonna pee the bed tonight. Watch out, Dad. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So it's Monday morning, we're getting some stuff done. A lot of exciting things are gonna start happening pretty soon. Um, first things first is I got a uh, flatbed for my pickup finally. So we're gonna be making a uh, small service truck out of that truck now. Gonna get two of them, either two or one of them triangle Montezuma toolboxes to put on it. I should get a hold of them and see if he'll cut me a deal since it'll be advertisement on YouTube. But uh, I don't like doing that stuff because I'm kind of shy when it comes to that stuff. But I mean, everybody else on YouTube does it. So, I mean, it's worth a shot. But anyways, I got a friend of ours that uh, builds trailers and stuff. Uh, he owns KV Trailers on the uh, Stark County, Pulaski County line. Does beautiful work. So I got a hold of him this morning, went and talked to him about it. He's gonna build me a custom flatbed to what I want. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Pretty excited. It's gonna be skirt sides with uh, four boxes in the bottom of it. One in, one in, uh, or two in front of the tires and two behind the tires. Them boxes aren't super big, but at least you can throw like your uh, Reese hitches in it and uh, hitch pins and stuff like that and keep them there uh, handy. And then on top of the bed, I'm going to put the uh, two boxes, the triangle shaped tool boxes. And I think I'm gonna get one of them boxes that go from side to side of the truck that you can pull out on either side of the truck. So, uh, and then I'm gonna set a fuel tank on top of that. And also the new bed is going to have a B&W turnover ball in it. So I can pull a gooseneck trailer with that truck. So uh, what we're doing here is we're getting this project finished up. I've got one big tree left standing. I've got uh, just a couple here that I've cut up. I'm gonna lay them out a little bit so dad's strength can get them with the loader. And then uh, beat the stumps around a little bit to get some of the dirt out of them. And uh, then they'll be uh, going to the pile. So another thing that we discussed over the weekend that's gonna happen is we have a plow day coming up. Uh, it's gonna be, let's see, April 10th, which is the Saturday after uh, Easter. We're gonna be having a plow day. So uh, <clears throat> we're gonna do some plowing on my grandpa's farm. And uh, there's another farm that we're gonna be doing some plowing on. So not quite sure how many tractors are gonna show up, but from what we've heard, um, there's gonna be quite a few. So uh, it'll be pretty exciting to watch that episode of Dirt Green Steel. We're gonna be doing drone work and it's gonna be pretty cool. So uh, Clifton's gonna run the drone because I'm gonna be plowing with the MC and should have the 720 done by then. So I'm right now on the MC, all I'm short is one hydraulic fitting uh, from getting that set up with hydraulic for the plow. So another exciting thing coming up is plow day. And uh, also ordered a uh, stump splitter for Little Dick, which will split stumps and logs and stuff. It is a spiral type stump splitter. It threads in and blows it apart. So that's gonna be kind of cool. So I've got a lot of stuff going on here. It's gonna be a wild next couple of months, but that's all right, it's gonna be exciting. So uh, pretty excited about plow day coming up, excited about getting a flatbed, finally make that truck more convenient to use for repairs and stuff. My bed floor in my truck right now is rusted out and the cross members are all collapsed. And with my fuel tank in the back of the truck now, there's no support under my fuel tank, and my fuel tank keeps cracking. So I gotta do something with it. So uh, with this new flatbed, it's gonna work out beautiful. I'm pretty excited. And plus, I hate having a crossover style toolbox because everything always ends up in the middle of the toolbox, and you can't reach it unless you get in the back of the truck and piss around. And, 
you just don't have very good storage you know a, a toolbox across is all right for straps and stuff like that but when you have as many tools as I have floating around in the truck it gets to be a bear so gonna make it more convenient gonna make repairs quicker more efficient and it'll just be all around cool so I'm pretty excited and plus I got the ability to pull gooseneck trailer with my pickup now which I never had before so we're gonna be putting airbags uh, in the suspension to make it carry the trailer better um, it is an f-250 but uh, you put a 25 plus 5 gooseneck trailer behind it and that's uh, that's a little more weight I mean the springs would handle it but we're gonna make it a little safer with some airbags back there and I'm gonna throw a brake controller in the truck because I need to have brakes so which uh, I'm gonna have them at the trailer place probably set all that up for me and just be done with it get the dirt beat out of that birch tree a little bit here so we're gonna keep clearing we'll get this project finished up we gotta get our piles burn up and then uh, we'll be heading on to the next one which is more trees so uh, we're gonna be taking quite a few trees out here for the next couple days at least um, the next spot is for an irrigation system to set farther up along the woods so it's not out in the field we're going to take the trees out for that and then uh, we've got to take some trees out that endanger an irrigation system in fact a couple had fell on it already and smashed it to the ground we'll get some video when we get up there so you can see how that happened but a storm came up last fall knocked the trees over and smashed the irrigation under it so got to make it so that's safe can't wait to get a little dick stump splitter done that's gonna be pretty cool we'll go over that when we start that project we're gonna repur repurpose a planetary drive off of a uh, old pole sitter truck that I bought as a service truck and uh, we're gonna make a stump splitter out of it so I know I got plenty of planetary drive strength there my only fear is maybe the stump splitter that I bought is not going to be big enough diameter to do what I want. So I might have to come up with a bigger stump splitter spiral. We'll see what happens. So if it works the way I think it's going to work, it's going to be huge and it's going to make life a lot simpler when it comes to burning stumps. If, it, if we can split them in half at least, then you can pull them apart and it pretty much relieves all the pressure on the dirt and the stump and the dirt will fall right out and then they'll burn. I can split them to a certain extent with the excavator bucket and teeth, but it's just too hard on the excavator to do that. I don't like doing it that much. So with this splitter, it just spins right down in and the farther it goes in, the more pressure it puts out because it's a cone shape and the wood pops apart. So it's pretty cool. So we'll get a little video later on and uh, see what happens today. Okay, so I got a little behind in video. I wish I would have videoed it, but uh, we went and got our haul truck that's been sitting over on the wetlands project that we done over the course of the last two years. Um, I haven't used the haul truck since the uh, beginning of last summer, actually, and uh, we haven't needed it. So we just, it's been sitting over on the project so I went and got it because I want to haul these stumps over to the woods because these stumps came off of the center ditch that were closing up. So there was so many stumps on it that we just ran out of burn material to keep the stumps burning up. So the customer, the customer said go ahead and just uh, set them in the woods and uh, they'll be fine because they'll make habitat for the animals and stuff like that that live in the woods. So that's fine with me. We're gonna load them up here on our uh, Moxie MT-30 and uh, haul them over there. It is nice having a uh, haul truck like this because then you can haul all kinds of stuff like concrete and 
stumps and logs and stuff in it. And dirt, of course. You can pile her pretty full. And it's six wheel drive, so you can pretty much go wherever you want to go. And the pile are pretty full. these stumps are cottonwood and they're so wet that they wouldn't burn anyways so hopefully with little dick stump splitter that we're gonna get we can reduce uh, the amount of stumps that we have to deal with and be able to get rid of them burn them up I couldn't believe it though we went over and turned the battery disconnect on on the haul truck and got in it and it cranked over three times and started right up so I'm like well that was that was just dandy I was happy with that now I want to make sure that there's no fire in any of these because I don't want them to start burning over in the woods I sorted through and I got all the rest of the burnable stuff out and I uh, got it burning. Definitely need a different thumb for this kind of work with these. It's just not, you don't have a good enough bite to it. Bite it. There it goes. I think I can throw one more up there. Should be able to, at least this half. I think it'll fit on there. stay on there. Okay, I'm going to haul this and dump it and come back for another load and get her all cleaned up and then the rest of the ashes and stuff uh, we're going to push in the old ditch and get rid of them. So we'll put dirt over them and you'll never know they were there. Well, got all my stumps cleaned up over there. Got that all raked up and what's left of the pile is burning. Got this one burning real good. We're gonna let it burn overnight. We're gonna head home now and uh, take the bed off my pickup and get it ready to get the flatbed put on it so uh, we can get it over there and they can get started on it. So the sooner we get it over there, the sooner we get it back and we'll have a flatbed to work with. So we're gonna head back to the shop now. Okay, so we're back at the shop now and uh, we got my fuel tank out. We just got to take my toolbox out and then we can get the bed off this truck. But as you can see how bad this bed floor is, it's all, well, yeah, put a two by four in there. You can really see how bad it is and it's just bad in the front. So uh, we're going to be making a major improvement by putting a flatbed on this truck. But uh, we're going to cut the last remaining bolts there's only two i think that are holding this complete bed on the truck right now and then we got to pull all the wiring out we cannot cut anything because it's all going to be able to be plugged back into the new bed so uh we're going to be very careful about it and uh not destroy the wiring harness and also the uh, fuel filler neck we've got to extract extract that without destroying it too so I'm going to get some tools and get my toolbox out next, and then we'll take the bobcat and pick it out.
junk bed anyways. Well, we got the bed off, got it all cleaned up, got the nasty layer of grease and shit off of it. So now we're going to bring it back in the shop, cut the bolts off from the bed, and get the bumper off because it's got to be off. Mom's got a hell of a fire up behind the shop, or house. I don't really know what she was thinking, burning that tall ass grass off right behind the house as dry as it is. But she's up there with a garden hose, so she's her own fire department. So... Uh, <laughs> So Alex and I are going to let this drip off a little bit. Her dad strength and I. Oh, I slipped and said his real name. Yeah, so uh, we're going to get her back in the shop. and we got all these bolts we need to do something with because they would not thread out. So if you're planning on taking your bed off, chances are your bolts are not going to come out. All you have out. to do is lift the straps. Yeah, cut and the straps and they'll drop through. So... But we weren't too worried about them, so we just burned them off the torch. And that bed's junk anyway, so there's no reusing it. Somebody decided to take the bobcat and smash it down, didn't they? Yeah, I was going to drive in it, but that was frowned upon. Oh. Well, we're going to fill it with scrap to take it to the scrapyard. I'm trying to put the bobcat in it. Put the bobcat in it, then we'll take it to the scrapyard, bobcat and all. So, okay, we're going to get her back in the shop and finish her up. You know what happens when you play with fire, you end up peeing the bed. Mom's going to pee the bed tonight. Watch out, Dad. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and blow this bumper off because we don't need the factory stock bumper anymore. The flatbed will have its own. And it'll have the hitch integrated into the bumper. Bumper brackets were pretty nasty and rusty. Oh, that's not quite cut. Can't see it. that's connected to the bumper that's all right it's all getting redone anyways so get that unplugged and get that bumper out of there well there we have it it's ready to go get the bed put on we got everything cleaned off of it we might squirt some black paint on it before it leaves uh, we got the uh, wiring all strapped up so nothing gets caught going down the road and uh, we're going to have them do some modifications. We're going to actually have these ends of these frames boxed down to the hitch just to make them a little stronger because the truck's getting up there in age. So uh, we're going to have that done. And uh, then I'm going to, uh, I got to get a different fuel filler neck because at one time this truck pulled a, uh, a camper and they had an auxiliary fuel tank in the bed and they butchered the fuel neck all up when they put the lines in it and stuff so i'm gonna go get a new fuel filler neck for it and uh then all that'll be good so uh it's gonna turn out real nice i'm excited to get this project going um just got to order another airbag kit the brackets are already here um a couple of years ago i had to put new springs under the truck and uh, the airbags were pretty dry rotted and stuff at the time, so we just cut them out and got rid of them. But now that I'm going to have a gooseneck ball and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and put the airbags back in it. 
and uh, then it'll pull the trailer a little better. So anyways, if you like this episode of Dirt Green Steel, uh, make sure you give me a like and uh, follow me. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.